Hey, what's up, everybody? Dylan here today. I'm going to be breaking down how me and Dreamer made the beat for me and Brayden's song, Monster. Um, it's going to be a, a very quick breakdown because there's not a lot to break down uh, on this beat because it's not anything like super crazy. But I guess I'll go and start off with the loop. Um, this is a loop that Dreamer sent me a while back um, around the same time that me and Dreamer didn't make it for Brayden. Um, and this is the loop that he sent me. I'll go ahead and turn on the effects. That way it doesn't sound weird. This is the loop that I got. And each individual loop is going to sound like this. So yeah, I just threw all that together. Um, next was I got this little um, this little snare from the uh, Cody kit, and it's just playing on the third step of the first bar, or the two, sorry. Very simple pattern, and then here, as you can see, I cut it for the hook. To get it bounced with everything together it sounds really good but right now it just sounds weird um then we've got this accent snare also from the cody kit very simple trap snare that literally everybody has at this point i'm sure then i did a two-step hi-hat pattern that's very simple because i i like to keep my beats really simple um personally just because it, it gives the artist more room to breathe um, so this is the Wanda Hi-Hat from Cody. Again, same kit. Uh, I believe it is the the Reddit drum kit that I got this from. So uh, shout out Cody for that. Really good kit. I suggest you guys go and get that. It's literally just a two-step. Now the 808s. Now I have gotten a few questions on this 808 and how I did it. And this is the pattern. It's very simple. Um, it's the Pink Grills Pink Signature 808. And it's playing this and I believe I have it on a channel. Yeah. So there's nothing on the channel. But I did have an overdrive on the official version of this beat after I sent it to Brayden. But this is before I sent it out to Brayden. This was just me making the beat. Um, there are a few changes in the official release, but it's nothing so different that, you know, it warrants a whole different breakdown. It's literally the same beat just with like a few added effects. Um, so this is the pattern. Um, so this is the part that I get questioned on the most is the, the slide. And I'll get into that in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and play the pattern. So originally I was going to just keep this pattern right here throughout the whole song, but I feel like it needed a little more bounds and more energy. So I added this little slide. It's a very simple slide. It's just going down an octave. And then right here it's going down from C sharp to A. Just to give it a little more energy. That's as simple as it gets really. I mean it's not it's nothing crazy it's nothing like super insane like if you've been making drill beats and you know exactly how to do 808 slides it's very simple i mean so next i got an open hi-hat which this is from the cody kit as well just playing on the one last but not least i got a kick also from the cody kit this is the product kick playing on the one and two so all together the drums should sound something like this and see what I mean by context like that sounds really good in the final beat but by itself it sounds weird so structure wise um, as you can see it's a very simple structure this is the structure that literally every single beat uses nowadays it's got a hook and then a verse Bridge, hook, verse, bridge, hook, verse, bridge, hook, bridge, 
hook uh, because this one had three verses, one for me, one for Brayden, and then one that we did back and forth. Now, the original beat did not have the back and forth. It was just the two verses and the three hooks. But uh, when I sent the beat to Brayden, we wanted to do it back and forth. Uh, it was his idea, and so I added a last verse on there, and then it just ended up becoming a thing in the final version. Um, so for effects... Uh, it's very simple. I've just got these two also from the Cody kit. And they play throughout the entire song. Uh, in terms of master effects, I have this uh, Fruity Parametric EQ2 uh, on the melody right here. It's just a low cut and a high cut together. And I just kind of uh, faded in and out uh, of the song. So if I unsolo everything, this is the high cut on for the bridge. And then I fade it back in. And then over here, I have a tape stop because on the, <coughs> the back and forth verse, uh, Brayden was like, you know what, maybe you should put like a tape stop on it. So what I did was I cut the beat a little bit right here. And then I added a deep blue tape stop, which this is what it looks like. It's a super big, like one of the most basic plugins you can ever have. But it really did help <laughs> on this beat. If I mute it, it doesn't transition as well as it could so I just added a tape stop and that just kind of helped fill in the gap there of when it was cutting so last but not least I added our tags <laughs> we love you Dylan and everything came together uh, I sent the beat to Braden. he liked it no wait wait I called him he liked the beat we hopped on it, um, and then about a month later, the song came out, and uh, me and Dreamer have worked together a lot since then uh, on stuff like Make It and Monster, and we've got a few beats coming up soon as well. Yeah, uh, it's a really simple beat. <laughs> There's not much to it, uh, just the way I like it. Um, at the very end, I cut out this part and this part of the loop. And then I just faded it out, so it transitioned back really well. So yeah, that's the monster beat. Uh, like I said, not much to it. It was a very simple beat. Uh, we're in 170 BPM, and it's C sharp minor. So I mean, which I guess that is something else I can touch on. The original loop was 150 BPM. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here. Uh, pursuit. Yeah, this is how it originally sounded. And I just sped it up. And then added the drums, and everything was just, you know, good from there. So, uh, that's pretty much the breakdown. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go subscribe to Brayden and Dreamer and go follow them on all their socials. They killed this thing uh, along with me. Uh, this was not a solo effort. This was a group project. So shout out to everybody who helped. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the song. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. But uh, be sure to check out all of my other videos. I've got breakdowns for like my rage music, for my pop music. I've got a tutorial on how to make a pop song and a rock song coming out very shortly. I've just been super busy, but yeah, I'm gonna go up and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.